This morning, members of the Democratic Unionist Party supplied an amateur video of last night's meeting. It's estimated that over 1,000 men attended and flags of the new Ulster resistance were dedicated. Mr. Paisley addressed the meeting. His deputy, Peter Robinson, also spoke, as did the Ulster Club's chairman, Mr. Alan Wright. None of those who attended would comment afterwards. The statement of intent, however, said that Ulster resistance will embark on a province-wide recruitment and will take direct action as and when required to destroy the agreement. They pledged themselves to stand by one another in defending themselves, their children and their cherished position within the United Kingdom by all the means found necessary. It will be some time before, if at all, the exact function of Ulster resistance will be explained. This issue, as well as who and what the movement will be used against, is generally fudged by the leadership. It will be remembered that this is not the first self-styled force with which the DUP leader has been associated. And it's interesting to note that the official unionist leader, Mr James Molyneux, moved to distance himself from it before it was formed. Well, I think uh, our response can be made on two levels. First of all, we could regard it as a, a stunt, a stunt which uh, is the latest in a series of stunts, going back to the Mountainy Men on Slemish a few years ago, to the Third Force, uh, to the Men on the Beach in Port Rush last year. All of these, in a sense, have been efforts of a similar kind, but they have all been dangerous stunts, and the SDLP, therefore, viewed...